What's up guys, Alpha Soul here with a live stream summary for the live stream that occurred on December 6, 2018. Now there is a ton of information that was actually shared, so I want to just go ahead and dive into it so uh, this video doesn't get too long, but you know, I'll try and be as succinct as possible. So the very first section that I've got here is the general update section. This is just general information. So first bit of news, there's going to be a live stream that's going to occur next week. This live stream is specifically focusing on the Ashes of Creation MMO uh, and not Apocalypse. Uh, so it's going to feature questing, fighting, monsters, playing for 30 minutes. They're going to kind of go around and show some of the systems that were developed within Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. It's just so we can see how it relates to the actual full MMO and see that integration. Registration will be open for Ashes of Creation or is open for Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. If you go to apocalypse.ashesofcreation.com, the URL is on screen. Uh, you will be able to sign up. It, it will be open to everyone. Uh, so that's including the general public, uh, including people not in the actual testing phase right now. Uh, one thing of note, if you do have an account, uh, you do not need to re-register. They will be consolidating those accounts. In fact, you might get an error uh, when you try and sign up. So. Uh, you know, just keep that in mind. The new website will be tested in the upcoming weeks uh, for with the alpha or with the uh, in the upcoming week. Sorry, not weeks uh, with the alpha one backer specifically. Uh, it will launch before December 18th, which is a key date that I will let you guys know in a second. Um, they are close to the finish line for infrastructure testing. So what that means is, oh, with these tests that we've been doing in the past couple of, you know, months, if you will, uh, it's been really focused around the server infrastructure, the server uh, stability and things like that. Apparently, they're really close to the finish line for that and they're really excited about it. Uh, so we should be, you know, nearing the end of that kind of testing. Um, the other thing that they mentioned about testing, which was pretty interesting, uh, was the fact that the testing that they're doing is all focused around the hours that their dev team has. There's been kind of a bunch of recent complaints from the European community specifically, or the non-Pacific uh, community, that you know the test times don't really match up with optimal times where they can test, and uh, they're specifically testing around times where their devs are available. So yeah, it is what it is. Uh, they will be attending PAX East. Uh, they will not be attending PAX South, but they will be attending PAX East. They're waiting on some additional details to kind of go through and, you know, really send out that notice. Uh, the news cosmetics will be dropping on December 7th. Uh, they will include uh, a bunch of cool looking stuff, to be perfectly honest. A frost cloak, an ice building, uh, polar bear sled, you know, kind of, it's more December themed, if you will. Uh, it's more winter themed, so a lot of winter stuff. It's got like these polar bears that are pulling uh, a sled for a caravan. Uh, it's got this, you know, owl bear, you know, winter stuff, good stuff all around. Go ahead and check it out on their website. Uh, they also demoed a promotional video, which you uh, will be seeing on this video as well, too, if it hasn't already been up. Uh, but you'll see that promotional video as well. Uh, it's got the Battle Royale as well as some Castle Siege footage in there. It's pretty cool, you know, very, uh, very cool. Um, testing will occur this weekend. It will include Beta 1 backers, so they will get invites to be able to test uh, this new bit. Uh, and finally, to conclude the general news section, Nodes 3, uh, they are they have a little bit more of a firm grasp on when they can release that. What they were waiting for was the completion of creating the actual full world uh, and then, you know, plopping the nodes in. It sounds like they want to be able to uh, test out some things before they commit to saying them. Uh, so, you know, just kind of keep a lookout for that. All right, so the next section that we've got here is uh, specifically regarding Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. Now, there was a lot of news shared about Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. First thing, they're treating this as its own product. In other words, uh, you know, the fidelity of the product, all that good stuff uh, will be, it, you know, baked into the product and they're just treating it as its own product. There's going to be a new installer and a patcher. Uh, those of you who are in the testing know that it's not the greatest of things, and apparently the new one is going to be much better than what we have today. Uh, there will be a leaderboard that is actually going to be implemented uh, so you can be able to see everyone's stats. Uh, you'll be able to see how well you're doing, things of that nature, um, and that will be in. 
Apocalypse is a pure action-oriented arena. It does not contain their hybrid system. Castle Siege, Horde, they will have class kits, but they will all be action-oriented. Uh, the, uh, the more tap target, the more hybrid MMO type combat will be in the actual alpha testing, but it will not carry over into Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. Um, it, there was also, you know, a couple things said about the speed of combat. The speed of combat will actually be going down more than likely just because uh, this is probably the fastest it will ever be. It will be toned down more to include, you know, tab target and things of that nature, uh, you know, within it. Uh, accounts uh, basically with that are created with for Ashes of Creation Apocalypse will share uh, that information and that thing with the actual Ashes of Creation MMO. Uh, so if you own an account specifically for Ashes of Creation, you'll receive a migration into Apocalypse uh, before December 18th. So uh, you don't have to worry about that. Apocalypse will persist as the MMO persists. So what we're looking at right now is two kind of uh, side tracks, if you will. One is Ashes of Creation Apocalypse, and the other is the MMO, and they will uh, kind of run concurrently along at the same time, or run in parallel, if you will, at the same time. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's it is what it is. Uh, part of the incentive that they stated for playing Ashes of Creation Apocalypse are the cosmetic rewards that you can earn in Ashes of Creation Apocalypse, and then that will transfer over to the MMO. You will be able to buy Embers and spend them within Ashes of Creation Apocalypse. Uh, cosmetics, uh, you know, you'll be able to earn those. They're really skins, if you will, and you can reskin and use them on various pieces of armor. And the way that they explained them was pretty interesting, uh, and it's what I thought it would be. But essentially, as you earn these skins and you're in the actual MMO, you'll be able to, let's say you create a Rusty Axe, uh, there may be a couple of skins that you've earned within the MMO that you'll be able to apply to that Rusty ask, Axe and, you know, snazz it up a bit. Um, but, you know, if you create a Great Axe, then you'll be able to uh, add some skins to that, or even a different higher grade Great Axe, it'll be available for some different type things. So it's not like you can take these skins and add it to anything that you want. They're specifically designated for different pieces of uh, weapon armor and things of that nature um, yeah uh, so that's that, that was pretty key now they also kind of talked more about the questing system the questing system will be uh, it's going to have daily and weekly quests that you earn exper experience. It's going to have paths along those quests where each, you know, level up, if you will, will provide rewards. Uh, all players have access to a free path, and I'm going to elaborate on that. Uh, you'll be able to gain experience up until level 50, and you're going to be, there will be lore that is revealed in uh, this particular area. Now, uh, there, this is going to be divided into chapters, right? So each chapter lasts about 10 weeks, and in that that chapter you'll be able to uh, you know level up and you know earn your rewards and earn experience they will also have uh, what is being called a legendary path now the legendary path is a purchasable path in other words you'll have to pay it's it's ten dollars uh, for ten weeks of time if you are an alpha one backer you get this legendary path for free for life uh, so you don't have to pay for it at all if you are an alpha one backer um, but if you're not an Alpha 1 backer, uh, all other Alpha backers and beta testers will get the first chapter for free, but then after that it's $10, uh, you know, every 10 weeks basically, or $10 for a new chapter. So that's pretty much it for Apocalypse. Let's just move really quickly on to Castle Siege. Uh, Castle Siege, right? Testing for Castle Siege will begin uh, at the end of the year, basically this month, towards the end of the month, it'll be available for Alpha 1 backers to test. Uh, it will not be in the initial Apocalypse release, so that's pretty key. Uh, there will be guild support at some point in Castle Siege, but when Castle Siege launches, you'll be queuing up for groups, either queuing up solo and be put into, uh, you know, the specific groups, uh, but you will not be able to queue for like 20 people of your guild to go in at the same time, at least initially, but it will eventually come. Uh, class kits will be there, it will have the standard Trinity, so your tank healer and damage, uh, and those will be available, you know, in Castle Siege. 
voice a voice chat will be available squad leaders will be able to communicate there be i think they say that like five of the squad leaders will be able to communicate overall to everyone whereas the rest of the people will only be able to communicate within the party so uh yeah that is uh, that is what it is uh, so this next portion is regarding studio updates. So there were a lot of studio updates that were shared specifically just regarding the studio. One, uh, they're entering an aggressive growth period, right? And they want to reach full production. So uh, next week we'll include some newsletters with new hires that will have their names and their backgrounds. They have a lot of MMO and gaming experience. Uh, they're going to be announcing new hiring positions at the beginning of the year. Uh, they're trying to get up to a team of 100 plus people by the summer. They're currently at, currently at roughly 50. Uh, and finally, they hired a community manager uh, and community marketing lead as well, which they will be unveiling pretty soon uh, and will announce. Next bit of news, they will uh, be announcing new positions, new hire positions at the beginning of the year. Uh, and finally, they will be moving into a new office uh, space and having a tour of that space uh, once it's complete and ready. Now, the final area and section is regarding the question and answer and question and response. I just picked up, I didn't take all of the questions, I just picked up the uh, at least more noteworthy ones, if you will. So the first bit is uh, custom, uh, the first bit I just wanted to share, actually. The... F I want you to look at the video and specifically find the point where I'm specifically talking about the live stream video. Find the point where Steven uh, starts talking about the question where somebody asked, will there be the ability to create custom emotes? And Steven was really excited for this. You could just see it in his face. He was really excited. But then if you panned over and you looked at Jeff instead, he kind of had this look on like, oh man, are you, are you kidding me? And it was just, it was, it was something magical to see. And uh, I'm a product manager. I get that look all of the time from my developers when uh, I'm in there and I might promise something that they're not quite sure that they could deliver on, but you know, uh, or will take a lot of resources. So it's just really funny to uh, uh, kind of see that interaction. Two, cosmetics will not share inventory space. Uh, there uh, will be no limit on space for cosmetics. They have implemented a custom code for easy cheat, uh, using easy anti-cheat basically to deal with hackers and cheaters. Uh, and they're kind of tweaking with their own code, but basically they will be taking a harsh stance to cheaters uh, who attempt to cheat in Ashes of Creation. Uh, cheaters will be IP banned, uh, so they'll try and go as depth, as in-depth as they possibly can. Uh, Steven was not in favor of macroing in general. Uh, with the philosophy that if you have to macro, then more than likely there's something in the game that you really have to fix to make it so that it's not so repetitive or autonomous or things of that nature. Players will be able to solo and sustain themselves, self-sustain themselves. Um, Kind of along those lines, they do not want players to potion span to keep themselves alive. Uh, kind of like in BDO, they just don't want it to happen. Uh, now this one was interesting as well. Apocalypse and Ashes of Creation Apocalypse and the MMO, again, will have completely divergent combat. So uh, Ashes of Creation, the MMO will have the hybrid combat and Apocalypse will always have the action combat. You will be able to dye cosmetics, so all of these, you know, cosmetics that you get, supposedly you can dye them. I'm not quite sure how that's going to work, but it was stated. Uh, and finally, the cosmetics you ordered as part of the original packages will be implemented into Apocalypse to test before moving on to the game. Whew! So finally, that pretty much sums it up, guys. That is my update um, and my summary uh, for the stream. Again, there will be another one next week, and I'll try to do the same thing for that one, but we'll see how it goes. All right, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you, guys. Let me know uh, if there are any other things that you, know, you thought were pretty interesting that you pulled out of it, but that's it. Thank you, guys. Take care of yourselves, and you guys have a great day. Alpha Soul out.